CNBC TV 18, embarking on a quarter century of excellence. Welcome back. You're still with us on Startup Street. Early stage VC fund Antler India has launched an ONDC focused platform for founders. It aims to provide resources and expert network, community, and capital to founders building on ONDC. The platform will offer pre seed capital of $300,000 along with an additional investment up to $200,000. Nitin Sharma, general partner and co founder of Antler India, tells Aishwarya Anand. Take a look. We've been creating our own community and uh, supporting ONDC as this seller and buyer ecosystem grows. This particular initiative is to go deeper mm. with Build for Bharat and nine problem statements which are going to create next generation ventures. So these are friction points or unsolved problems either on the buyer side or the seller side, which may be keeping many participants from coming on to the ONDC network. And innovators all over India can solve these problems. And our job is to provide them a platform to catalyze it. So we are working with ONDC, Google, Protein, uh, Paytm as key partners to, to really help make this happen. Okay. So uh, how many, so what's going to be the process of uh, identifying, uh, you know, the startups, the founders that you want to invest in? And how many such platforms are you looking at? And what is going to be the ticket size that you'll be doling out? So currently, we launched a Build on ONDC initiative in August with Mr. Nandan Nilekani and, and the same other participants I mentioned. Uh, something like uh, 800 to 900 founders have already applied. Mm. We've created a community of 200 and we've made four investments already. So we okay. want to do much more. Uh, the check sizes for those are typically in the 250 to $300,000 range, let's say two crores or so. Uh, this program will extend that and also come in the form of grants. And so for founders who may be still a little bit early for investment, a grant can basically provide them that, uh, that bridge between you know, not starting up and actually starting up and pursuing a problem. This is also relevant to some existing businesses okay. which may not have started something on ONDC but may have uh, an idea to solve a specific problem uh, that could be an existing business which is trying to take its business model onto the ONDC network. You mentioned that you have made investments into four, uh, uh, you know, uh, four startups already. So could you shed some light on what these who these four startups are? So two are announced. Yep. One is called Plotch. It mm -hmm. is a technology service provider, the TSP. So it is providing rails, the the engineering rails that allow various participants to come onto ONDC. And uh, the second is called Bitsilla, which we mm -hmm. just announced last week. This is focused on the seller side primarily. Okay. So sellers uh, uh, primarily beginning with food and beverage businesses, restaurants, etc., who are in the process of uh, onboarding to, to ONDC. So they're, they're actually doing a lot of the technology and handholding to bring them on. And they have, uh, I believe, 11,000 or so active sellers already. Hmm. So you mentioned, uh, you know, you're looking at uh, somebody who's uh, like, you're looking at those founders who are solving nine problem statements. Uh, what are these problem statements that you're looking at? And also, you've since you've made investments into four startups, by the end of this year, how many more uh, do you target to invest in? There is no limit. I think it's a matter of the opportunity. Okay. Uh, in our fund, we will invest in 100 startups. We have made 51 investments already, not just to NDC, of lots of other areas. Uh, we don't have a specific number. We would love to do more and more on ONDC. We believe in it. Um, as far as uh, the nine problem statements, uh, so those are very technical problem statements, which if you, if you zoom in, so for example, specifically for vernacular usage, sellers or buyers who want to use, uh, who want to transact, but in vernacular languages, right? So right now, most of the commerce content you see is in English. Yeah. But obviously, only, you know, a vast majority of internet users are not, transacting in English. So specific things to how do you have Indic, uh, you know, AI being used, LLMs being used in that process, retrieval, governance, uh, problem resolution, uh, how do you score catalogs, right? So if you go into the, the depth of it, uh, of, you know, all of the pieces that still keep more and more sellers from actively transacting, those are the nine problem statements that uh, ONDC has identified. All right, uh, that's all the coverage we had for you today on the show from Arundhati and me. It's a goodbye and thank you for watching. But stay with CNBC TV 18 for all your news and updates.